Now, there's a lot of diversity here on campus, and it lives right here at this club. Most of the rowers are probably between 25 and 30, but you get all kinds of uh, types, styles, sizes of rowers. It's a good way for different members of the community to get to know each other and participate in an activity that is both good for your health, also just really fun. It's not unusual to go out on a boat and the boat being represented by eight different countries, eight different rowers from, from different countries. So it's, it's really kind of a very, very geographically diverse unit here. So one of the things a lot of people don't notice or realize uh, about the sport of rowing is just how expensive it is. I mean, I think a lot of people maybe have ideas about, you know, 19th century rowing and being sort of a gentleman's sport and everything like that, and maybe that translates. But there are actually significant fixed costs, especially at the MIT Rowing Club. The first one I'll show you here, and these are oars, incidentally, that we still use. This, this well, the first one I'm going to show you, uh, we use uh, for our Learn to Row program. But you can see it's got a, it's got a wooden oar, which is, of course, very heavy. Uh, and you can also, and I'm not sure if you can see this, but the condition of the ore itself, and this has gone under numerous repairs, but at some point, you know, they just, uh, they just wear out. So it's still a little wonky here. Um, not, not, you know, not the, not the best kind of equipment. This one here is a Concept 2 ore, uh, much more modern, um, but you can see uh, even, even this set of ores is facing uh, significant uh, wear of tear here, and it's probably a matter of time before um, this one ideally would need to be replaced as well. Oars are expensive. Obviously, boats are expensive too. The boats is another fixed cost of the club. We don't own any of our boats anymore. We tried that model in the past, and now we rent the uh, so again the hand-me-down boats from the varsity team. Between equipment, the oars, ergs, obviously very very expensive um, and critical in terms of learning to learn the sport. Um, the fixed costs of the boathouse, and wanting to make sure that this is a club that can be open to um, any member uh, of MIT who's eligible for club sports, regardless of financial ability. This is not an inexpensive club to belong to. It's not a big deal for me, but for some of these kids, it really is uh, quite a stretch. So uh, any support we can get is really appreciated. I just want to Thank you for considering helping out MIT Rowing Club purchase new equipment. It's really important to us. It's, it's going to make a huge impact on our ability to have good practice and to train our, our rowers and to train during the off season.